You're listening to Tim Bulkley's Five Minute Bible. The Five Step Bible Program. Part 1 Introduction. Understanding even quite difficult Bible passages in just five steps. By the way, a warning note this is the first ever and possibly the only ever five minute Bible with no actual Bible. At Carey, in order to help beginning students to understand the Bible more effectively, we've begun to use Duval and Hay's little book, Journey into God's Word. In the book, they present a simple four or five step process. It's five for the Old Testament, four for the New. But I'm an extremist, so I'm going to make it five steps for both Testaments. That's simpler too. And I think it's worth spreading further, though I've changed the wording slightly. Step one is to ask yourself, what did the passage mean? What did it mean back then for its first hearers and readers? What did it mean for the people of Israel? What did it mean for the early church? This is a step in which a Bible dictionary and even maybe a commentary might help you, though it's remarkable how much you can do with just a little imagination and a little knowledge. Reading the introduction to the book in a Bible that's got introductions or a study Bible is not a bad idea for a start. Step two is to ask yourself what's different? How does my world differ from the world back then in ways that are relevant to this passage of course because if we notice those differences then we're going to be more effective in applying the passage today and we'll avoid the very common mistake of attempting to jump the ditch between us and them and so misunderstanding the passage completely step three is to ask yourself what does this passage say about theology what you say to yourself? Oh, I don't do theology. I'm just a... No, no, no. Theology is talk about God. All talk about God is theology. And the Bible is God's book. It's the book of God. It's about God. So, step three is to ask, what does this passage say about theology? In the light of what we said it meant to the people who first heard it. What does it say about God and God's relationship to the world and to us? Next comes step four. What difference, you ask yourself, does it make that we read this passage in AD, not BC? Most often this means thinking about how Jesus fulfills the passage, how he fills it out fully. If you want more about that, I've got a podcast or two on the subject which you can listen to. And then, finally, you get to the end. Step five. What does it mean now? You take that theological principle that you noticed at step three, and you process it through your noticing of the difference it makes that we read it AD, not BC. You process it through how Jesus fulfills it. And... You process it through what you noticed about the differences between then and now. And out of that processing, you say, so that's what it means now. You see, it's a very simple process. But if you miss out the one of the steps, you risk getting derailed. And all too often, we want to jump to the meaning of the passage from having just read it without thinking about it at all. You can't do that. The Bible was written long, long ago and far, far away from most of us. Jumping straight to the meaning is a sure and nearly certain way of ensuring that what you get from the Bible is a meaning that you put there, and not the meaning that God put there. God took the trouble to work with loads and loads of people long, long ago to give us the Bible. Doesn't it make sense to spend a little bit of time and effort working out God's message in the scripture? So, remember the four or five step process. What did it mean back then? What's different between then and now? What does it say about theology, about God and God's relationship with the world and with us? What difference does it make to us that we read it 
after Jesus, AD not BC. How does Jesus fulfill this passage? Because Jesus fulfills all of Scripture. And then, and only then, so what does it mean for me now? Do try the five step process. In the next podcast, in this series, I'm going to try it on a really difficult passage. And we'll see how it works. Bye for now. <laughs>